Storm Sheet Network Security Dashboard. So in this short video, we are going to cover the dashboard of Storm Sheet Network Security Firewall. So I'm connecting to the firewall. And as you can see, we have different parts over here. On top, you can see the serial number, the firmware of the firewall, the model of the firewall, which is uh, V50, it's a virtual appliance. And also we have some uh, links over here. We also, inside the dashboard, you can see the different uh, widgets. And also on the left, you can see the menu. Uh, on top, you can see the header. Now, what do we have in the dashboard? Very simple information that are really helpful, which, for example, when we speak about the network, you can see that I have six interfaces of the firewall. You can also see that when I put the mouse over, I can get information about the interface and the IP address and the throughput, uh, what's going on uh, at the moment, how much uh, traffic has been received and sent as well. You can see which interfaces are actually connected. So you can see that port number one, two, three are actually connected. You can also tell which interface is considered as external. So from the configuration, we have set that port number one is external. And I can tell that easily because I don't have a small shield icon over here where I have the same shield on all of the other interfaces. I can also tell that I am connected to the firewall for the web administration page from port number three. And thanks to the uh, this green circle over here, I can tell that I'm connected to the firewall from port number three. You can see some uh, alarms, uh, alarms in the recent alarms. You can see some information about the, the firewall, the uptime, uh, the dates. And then if there's a high availability configuration, you can see the, config, the information about the active and the second firewall as well. You can see the active update, if the firewall has ever been updated or not. Since this is just a new firewall, has no access to the internet to update. So uh, you can see that it has uh, showing a lot of failures that it, it was trying to update, but it didn't uh, succeed. And then we have some information about the resources, space, CPU, memory, uh, information about uh, the hardware that may be connected to the firewall, uh, including like USB, SD card for like external uh, storage, maybe uh, 3G, 4G modem, different things. And uh, the new recent applications that uh, have been added to the firewall, and since we did not do any update yet, so you, you don't see anything here, this dashboard can be configured. Uh, uh, when you go to the, this small icon here, you can configure this module, and you can choose what information you want to show, and then you can also show that you can also modify the update frequency so manual only every one minute every five minutes you can also uh, note something here in the un, under the alarms which is which is a bit uh, special in alarms you can see that uh, you have uh, the source is always said to be anonymized and this is uh, because we have the gdpr uh, uh, rules and uh, regulations that we should not allow any user or administrator to see the information unless he has uh, been granted an access to it. So normally, the admin account, and this is going to be uh, explained later, you can, you can create multiple administrator accounts, and these accounts can have access to the firewall to manage the firewall, but also they need a special token in order to see the sensitive data of the users, including the IP address and usernames. So, as an admin account, I can obtain the uh, access to these logs. I can just simply click on restrict access to logs and then I can obtain the privilege to see and then I can simply refresh, then I will be able to see the IP addresses. Now, also you will note something here is that I'm logging as admin account. And of course, when you log in on different accounts, you will see different information. But my connection has read-write access. Uh, this read write access, you, you can have only one session with read write access to the firewall. So if you connect, for example, and open another session, so right now I have already a session that has read write access. If I open an another session uh, to the same firewall, okay, you will see that I have a different uh, access. You can see that immediately a notification here, you, you have not obtained all the privileges to the firewall, so I am on read only. If I want to obtain the, for example, this session was like uh, stopped or interrupted for some reason, or uh, I'm connecting from another machine, you can, since you are an admin account, so you have uh, the authority to obtain the writing privilege, so you can just simply click on read only, and you can request writing privilege, 
and you, then it will ask you do you want to log out the admin which is coming from my IP in fact so you can just simply say so and then you have a full read write access but of course you don't have the access to the logs unless you also request for the access to see the sensitive information of the logs and then you you are able to view them thank you for watching